How's it going, everyone? It's time once again to find some more goofs and Thomas and friends. Today's episode is Whistles and Sneezes. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so when the episode starts, it was cross. Gordon is complaining to Henry that he, complaining that he gets to go to crew, and he also complains that he gets a new shape. This made Henry very sad. And here comes the first goof. If you look at Percy, Percy's face, you can see that both of his, both of his eyes have a gap in them. Hi, Henry, called Gordon. We're glad to have you with us again, but remember what I said. Later, Henry stopped at Edward's station. Hello, Henry, said Edward. You look splendid. I was pleased to hear your happy whistle yesterday. Thank you, Edward, smiled Henry. But that day, a high-pitched whistle came to be heard. Edward says that, that it sounds like Gordon, but he never whistles like that. But, sure enough, it was Gordon. He came down the hill with his whistle at full blast. He didn't look at Henry, and he didn't look at Edward. He just screeched through the station, and he disappeared in a, in a cloud of smoke. Henry told Edward what Edward what Gordon said. And here comes another goof. Gordon's wheels are going very fast, but in the next scene... Gordon's wheels are going in slow motion. I want you to listen to what the narrator says. At the station, everyone covered their ears. That's not true. None of these passengers are covering their ears. Even At Gordon's station, buffers are crooked. Everyone covered their ears. Look at the top of Matt's chin. You can see that there's a little hole in it. Take him away, he bellowed, and stop that noise. Stop, Gordon puffed sadly away, but he wouldn't stop whistling until two fitters climbed up and knocked his whistle valve in place. That night, Gordon slunk into the shed. He was glad it was empty. It isn't wrong, murmured Henry to no one in particular, but we just don't do it. No one mentioned whistles. Next morning, Henry was enjoying himself enormously. You can see that Henry's pulling so his well. train. So well. train. But here come the goofs. Henry is in a soul shape. And another thing, where are Henry's coaches? Like they could just disappear. And there's a red stripe peeling away on Henry's cylinder. Three goose in just one scene. Then he saw some boys on a now, I want you to pay attention to this spot right there. Henry randomly hits the bush. He called. The boys didn't wave and take his number. They thought it fun to drop stones on him instead. They've broken our glass. They've broken our glass. Holy cow! How many rocks did those guys throw? It looks like they destroyed every window. Cried the coaches. The passengers weren't hurt, but they were cross. Call the police. No, said the driver. Leave it to Henry and me. These boys just destroyed sort of property, and you're just gonna let it go? What will you do? They asked. Can you keep a secret? Yes, yes. Well then, Henry's driver told that Henry was gonna sneeze on the boys, and Henry felt very happy indeed. Yeah. 
Lots of people were waiting at the station just before the bridge. They wanted to see what would happen. Henry has... Henry could hardly keep himself from sneezing. Henry felt more stuffed up than excited. Now here's a really hard goof that you need to point out for. When Henry is approaching the bridge, you can see that he's at a complete stop. And seconds later, Soon he starts moving. Boys, how many stones do those guys need? How, how do they expect to throw all of these things down on the window? Are you ready, Henry? Said the driver. Sneeze hard when I tell you. Now, he said. <laughs> Hold on a minute. How come these boys have soot when the smoke hasn't even touched them yet? I'll tell you how. Well done, Henry, laughed his driver. Henry went home, hoping that next time he saw Gordon and the boys, they would have learned not to be so mean. And this marks the end of the episode. Alright you guys, so those were all the gifts that I found in this is and Sneezing. This episode had a lot of gifts in it. Now, having said that, if you guys didn't see a gift that I didn't point out, leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.